Do you ever wonder if you're getting enough quality sleep? This is a question many of us have pondered as we try to balance our busy lives. However, the importance of sleep goes beyond merely banishing under-eye circles or preventing yawning fits. Sleep is a fundamental pillar of our health, as essential as regular exercise and a balanced diet. It's during sleep that our body repairs itself, our brain processes information, and our energy is replenished. It's a time for healing, growth, and restoration. Research has shown that consistent quality sleep can boost our immunity, enhance our mood, and sharpen our mind. It's linked to lower stress levels, better decision-making abilities, and even a longer lifespan. On the flip side, chronic sleep deprivation can lead to a host of health issues, including heart disease, diabetes, and depression. It can affect our cognitive abilities, hampering our concentration, memory, and problem-solving skills. But it's not just about the quantity of sleep, it's about the quality too. This is where the concept of sleep hygiene enters the picture. Sleep hygiene refers to practices and habits that are necessary to have good nighttime sleep quality and full daytime alertness. Unfortunately, in our fast-paced society, many of us have lost touch with the basics of good sleep hygiene. We're constantly bombarded with screens, work stress, and societal pressures that can disrupt our sleep patterns. As a result, we end up in a vicious cycle of poor sleep and decreased productivity, which only further exacerbates our stress levels. This lack of awareness and knowledge about good sleep hygiene is a significant issue. We're often quick to resort to quick fixes like caffeine or sleeping pills without addressing the root cause of our sleep issues. So, if you're struggling with sleep, remember, you're not alone. Sleep issues are a common problem, but they're also solvable. Understanding and practicing good sleep hygiene is the first step towards improving your sleep quality. By making sleep a priority, we can all reap the benefits of a good night's rest and unlock our true potential. What exactly is sleep hygiene? Well, just like personal hygiene relates to maintaining the health of our bodies, sleep hygiene refers to the practices, habits, and environmental factors that are critically important for sound sleep and full daytime alertness. The cornerstone of sleep hygiene revolves around establishing a regular sleep schedule. Our bodies thrive on routine. Going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, even on weekends, helps regulate our internal body clock, known as the circadian rhythm. This rhythm influences sleep-wake cycles, hormone release, and other bodily functions. Now, let's consider the environment. A sleep-friendly environment is dark, quiet, and cool. Darkness signals the brain to produce melatonin, the hormone that promotes sleep. Noise interruptions can fragment sleep leading to lighter, less restorative sleep stages. As for temperature, cooler environments generally promote better sleep, with experts often recommending around 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit. But sleep hygiene isn't just about when and where we sleep, it also involves what we do before we sleep. Physical activity is a great sleep booster. Regular exercise, particularly in the morning or afternoon, can significantly improve the quality of sleep. But avoid vigorous activity close to bedtime as it can interfere with falling asleep. Lastly, let's talk about diet. What we eat and drink and when we do it can dramatically affect sleep. Consuming large meals, spicy foods, or caffeine close to bedtime can disrupt sleep. Alcohol, while it may initially make you feel sleepy, can interfere with sleep stages and lead to fragmented sleep. In a nutshell, sleep hygiene is about creating a holistic routine that supports good sleep. It's about the consistency of sleep times, cultivating an ideal sleep environment, being mindful of physical activity and diet, and understanding how they can either enhance or hinder our sleep quality. Now that we know what sleep hygiene is, let's dive into some effective strategies to improve it. Are you ready to upgrade your sleep? Let's delve into some practical strategies that can significantly improve your sleep quality. Firstly, let's talk about caffeine and alcohol. Both are known to disrupt sleep. Limiting caffeine intake to the morning hours can help your body wind down naturally in the evening. And while a nightcap might make you feel drowsy, alcohol actually reduces the quality of your sleep by interfering with your sleep cycles. So, it's best to keep those drinks to a minimum. Next, consider creating a bedtime routine. This isn't just for kids. A routine signals to your body that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. This could involve reading a book, doing some light stretches, or even a bit of meditation. The key is consistency. Doing the same activities each night will help condition your body to associate these activities with sleep. Now let's talk about your sleep environment. A dark, quiet, and cool room is ideal for sleep. Consider investing in blackout curtains or a sleep mask to block out light, 
and a white noise machine or earplugs to drown out any disruptive sounds. Keep the temperature on the cooler side, around 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit is often recommended. Another strategy is to reserve your bed for sleep and intimacy only. This strengthens the mental association between your bed and sleep. So, if you're used to working or watching TV in bed, it might be time to rethink that habit. And lastly, consider your diet. Heavy meals close to bedtime can lead to discomfort and disrupt your sleep. Try to finish eating at least two to three hours before you plan to hit the sack. And while we're on the topic of food, it's worth mentioning that certain foods are known to promote sleep. These include foods rich in tryptophan, magnesium, and melatonin, such as turkey, almonds, and cherries. Implementing these strategies may seem challenging at first, but the benefits are well worth the effort. Remember, sleep is an essential component of your overall health and well-being, so give these strategies a try and prepare to wake up feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Ever find yourself wide awake in the middle of the night? It's a common occurrence for many of us, the culprit, sleep disruptions like insomnia and frequent awakenings, which can be a major roadblock on our journey to achieving quality sleep. Insomnia, for instance, is not just about having trouble falling asleep, it also involves waking up in the middle of the night and struggling to fall back asleep. This condition can stem from an array of factors from stress and anxiety to an underlying health issue. It's like a stubborn lock that refuses to give in to the key keeping us from the restful slumber we so desperately need. Then there are those frequent awakenings. Imagine your sleep as a peaceful boat ride on a calm lake, but every now and then, a stone is thrown into the water causing ripples and disturbing the tranquility. These disruptions can make it hard for us to reach the deeper, more restorative stages of sleep, leaving us feeling groggy and unrefreshed in the morning. The causes of these disruptions can be as varied as the disruptions themselves. Consuming caffeine or alcohol close to bedtime, for example, can interfere with our sleep patterns. Similarly, our sleep environment, like a room that's too light, too noisy, or too warm, can play a significant role in causing these disturbances. Having a better understanding of these sleep disruptors is like having a roadmap to better sleep. It allows us to pinpoint potential triggers and make necessary adjustments. For instance, if caffeine is causing trouble, limiting its intake, especially in the late afternoon and evening, can be beneficial. If it's the sleep environment, then making it more conducive for sleep, like using dark curtains or a white noise machine, could help. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to sleep. What works for one person may not necessarily work for another. It's all about identifying the disruptors and finding the right strategy that works for you. Knowing what disrupts your sleep is key to finding solutions that work for you. So let's keep exploring, keep understanding, and keep striving for better sleep. Ready to take your sleep to the next level? Let's dive into some advanced sleep optimization techniques. First up, temperature manipulation. Our bodies have a natural sleep-wake cycle that's linked to temperature. By adjusting your room's temperature to mimic this cycle, cooler for sleep, warmer for wakefulness, you can enhance your sleep quality. Next, acoustic stimulation. Ever noticed how soothing the sound of rain is? That's because certain sounds like white or pink noise can mask disruptive noises and promote relaxation. Experiment with different sounds to find what works best for you. Finally, body positioning. Believe it or not, how you position your body can affect your sleep. Sleeping on your side, for instance, can help reduce snoring and sleep apnea. Remember, everyone's different. What works for one person might not work for another, so feel free to experiment, adjust, and fine-tune these techniques to your needs. These advanced techniques can provide that extra boost to your sleep quality. So, what have we learned about sleep hygiene? We've delved into the basics from the importance of regularity and controlling our exposure to light, to understanding the impact of temperature on our sleep cycle. We've discussed the role of diet and substances like caffeine and alcohol, and explored the concept of sleep association, emphasizing the importance of distinguishing between the bed and sofa. We've also looked at practical strategies like meditation, breathing exercises, and the intriguing walk it out technique. We've touched on sleep disruptions and how to handle them, from insomnia interventions to bedtime rescheduling. In our journey through advanced optimization techniques, we've explored temperature manipulation, acoustic stimulation, and even the effects of body position on sleep quality. We've also shed light on sleep medications and their role in managing sleep disorders. Remember, good sleep hygiene is not just about getting enough sleep but about getting quality sleep. It's time to prioritize your sleep and reap the benefits of better health, productivity, and mood.